वेलकम टू अनदर व्लॉग एंड बिफोर यू वंडर इफ यू आर ऑन द करेक्ट चैनल लेट मी टेल यू फैसल इज आउट ऑफ द कंट्री एट द मोमेंट एंड ही इज एक्चुअली रिक्वेस्टेड मी ओ हाउ आई वे शी इज एक्चुअली ऑर्डर्ड मी टू डू द रिव्यू ऑफ दिस कार ऑन हिज बिहाफ सो ब्रेस योर सेल्फ एज नूर एन इज गोन टेक यू टू द वर्चुअल टूर ऑफ दिस कार आफ्टर बींग मिसिंग इन एक्शन फॉर टू ईयर्स द ऑल्टो के टेन इज बैक एंड इट्स ऑफर्ड इन सिक्स डिफरेंट वेरियंट फोर फॉर द मैन्यूअल प्राइस बिटवीन फोर पॉइंट सेवन टू टू सिक्स पॉइंट टू एट लैक्स एंड टू फॉर द ऑटोमेटिक प्राइस बिटवीन सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट एट फाइव लैक्स ऑल प्राइज इज ऑन रोड मुंबई सो लेट्स जस्ट डू द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ शोइंग द की एंड ओपनिंग द बोनेट ओके इट्स actually kind of difficult to do it just with one hand but here we go there is no insulation here and this engine is a 998 cc engine with three cylinder unit it produces 66.6 ps of power and 89 newton meters of torque and this is running on petrol oh it's actually very hot this is running on petrol power with a small 27 liter tank previously they used to offer 35 liters but now it's reduced to 27 For now we don't have CNG but it'll be offered later. That said the design is simple and it has honeycomb grills in the front and basic halogen headlights. There's no DRL or fog lamps. Actually I think the headlights are visible the on though. So there's a lot of cost cutting done here and there. As you can see there's a single washer of a wiper. The ORVMs are manually adjusting. The side profile looks a little taller than the previous generation K10B. So previously it was 1475 and now it's 1520 in height. The length is reduced by 15 mm but it's not very evident. Let's check the wheels. The 13 inch wheels look a little undersized even on a car this small. It gets wheel covers and the tire profile is 14580. It's slightly more than 3.5 meters in length. The Alto is indeed ching to ming to while at the rear Doesn't this look like a Celario? <laughs> yes, it kind of does. Let's go back and open the boot. So there is no request sensor or a button to open the boot externally. It can only be done by a key over here or through the internal button. The boot is small like 214 liters but it's fine for a car of this size and the best part is it's pretty deep. So there'll not be an issue fitting a cabin baggage here. Let's move towards the rear. The door handles are flap type model and there's some cost cutting done over there as well. One second. Now I know why Faisal yells at me all the time. I forget doing that. So let's get seated in the rear. So rear space is okay for someone as short as me but Faisal will be disappointed by this. I'm sure since the leg room, knee room and the head room is just adequate for an average size adult not for a giant like him the car is grown in every dimension but the width is the same so three people at the rear is a strict no the rear windows are manual and the funny thing is that none of the seats in the car gets an adjustable headrest and for the nth time the center passenger does not even get a head So Maruti Suzuki is actually given the top variant which is the VXI quite a few features it gets a remote keyless entry multi function steering audio controls and the steering wheel and uh, a digital instrument cluster where the speedometer is taking most of the space there is no tachometer the interiors are all plastic hard plastics and uh, there's a lot of relevance with the Celerio and the Espresso in terms of the interiors in terms of safety the Alto gets dual airbags and ABS and the infotainment system is actually a 7 inch screen it's a touch screen with smart play studio software it also gets apple carplay and android auto connectivity which is neat the front power window switch yes lags ergonomic placement because the switches are here not here or here The car gets four speakers with one speaker on each door with average audio quality. Storage spaces aren't plenty. You get door pockets on the front with bottle holders, mobile holder over here and two cup holders over here and you have the normal 12 volt socket charging and a USB socket charging and the AC temperature is kind of gliding one. You can increase the temperature by doing this. So moving over to the glove box. The glove box is actually small and we have basic side handles over here there is no vanity mirror even on the passenger seat so it's like nuren's face of truth would be disappointed that's about it i am so tired and 
to be honest up like exhausted making the walk around video and it has got me more respect for Faisal because he does it at one go and I've actually break it into three parts and now it's just time to start with the driving vlog The engine gets really vocal as you pull hard in each gear but the alto feels really quick because of the light weight and you can also feel the lightness it gives you a sort of a go kart feel maruti calls it the k10c because it has got dual vtt and dual jet to improve the fuel efficiency and also the performance the claim mileage for this car is 24.9 kilometers per liter for the automatic variant and it is 24.39 for the manual variant however real time situation you will get somewhere around 16 kilometers per liter also surprisingly this car has a stop start system the steering does not have any feel or feedback it neither weighs up gradually nor does it self center like i have to get it back to track or else i'll be on the other side of the road and it also understeers at times This car is based on the Hardtech platform just like the Espresso and the Celerio and the body roll is quite evident but somehow the ride seems comfortable. Brakes could have been stronger and in spite of ABS heavy braking does cause screeching. Talking about the clutch the travel is longer and the clutch is a little hard. After some point of the journey you will feel like something is grabbing onto the clutch. Since Alto is a city focused car a lighter clutch would have been something more apt for it The gear shift for the manual transmission is however fine and as we have seen in most of the Maruti Suzuki cars the throws are short but the gearbox doesn't feel sluggish when changing gears the AMT just brings the convenience but the manual is way better in case of heavy throttle like this the amt just goes crazy and it's completely confused so if you wanted to buy the urus espresso but did not have the budget for it then the alto k10 is the one for you because this is definitely more economical it has less space but it is definitely more peppy and as an entry level hatchback this car is the jack of all trades though it's the master of none but definitely it's a good car if you're looking to buy your first car